Hey, it's Chris, and if you're a Mac user, either on a laptop or a desktop, then there are a few lesser known apps that if you use them, I think can really revolutionize the way that you use your Mac. I don't know about you, but I really love finding these kind of hidden gems that can give you an edge in whatever you're trying to accomplish. Some of these are so simple and so good that honestly, you might feel like slapping yourself for not having used these before. But I doubt that you've heard of most of them unless you're the kind of person that just kind of lives on Product Hunt all day long. Now the first unbelievably amazing Mac app that I wanna share with you guys is called Desk Cover. And what it does is gray out everything on your Mac except for the window that you've got on top. So in effect, it kind of highlights the app that you have open and that you're working with in an attempt to limit distractions and keep you more productive. And there are a couple other apps like this, and I've used some of them, but this one is free, and that's what's so cool about it. All right, another must-have Mac app, and I'm guessing that this is probably one of the most popular on this list, is called Magnet. What Magnet does is let you quickly and easily position and arrange your windows. So if you wanna have two windows open side by side, each taking up 50% of the screen, it's a cinch. It's actually pretty similar to what you would find in Windows 10 with the Snap Assist, but what's cool is that you can really build some unconventional layouts with a long window on top and a couple windows underneath. It's pretty awesome. Now another app that you probably won't believe that you haven't been using so far is called Bartender. And what it does is let you rearrange and hide and manage all those app icons in the menu bar in the top right of your screen. So if it's getting too cluttered up there or you don't wanna see certain icons, you can either turn them off or you can hide them one level deeper and have them accessible at the press of a button. Now real quick, let me take a minute to mention today's very relevant sponsor, Webroot Internet Security Plus, which provides smarter cybersecurity defense. Now this is serious. 45% of consumers worldwide have already been the victim of a cybercrime. That's nearly half. So Webroot guards your personal information by blocking the latest malware, phishing, and cyber attacks by scanning billions of apps, files, and websites continuously. Now I remember the good old days when Mac users really weren't affected by cybercrime all that much because cyber criminals kind of figured that the market share was so small that they weren't really going to bother. But that's not really the case anymore. So if you want to protect yourself, Webroot is a really small download that scans 60 times faster than the competition. Plus, and this is cool, it can also protect your mobile devices as well. So see for yourself why IGN calls Webroot the best antivirus of 2017 by checking it out using the link in the description where, by the way, I'm gonna have links to all the apps that I'm talking about in this video. So the next app is definitely one of my favorites. It's called Helium and it's basically a floating web browser that stays on top of all your other windows. Now I'm sure that this could be useful in all kinds of scenarios, but for me, the greatest use is using it to watch a video while I'm working on something else. One thing that I really like about Helium is that you can adjust the transparency of the window. So if you wanna see what's going on underneath, but still keep an eye on what's in that window, you can do both at the same time. Another really great app, and out of all the apps I'm talking about, this is probably the one that you're most likely to have heard of before, is called Duet, and it lets you turn your iPad into a second monitor. Now this works great with any iPad, but I especially love using it with my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. In case you're wondering, you can control the screen resolution on the iPad, and this works really, really great for Final Cut Pro users. Now, if you like the idea of saving some time, then Drop Zone is gonna be right up your alley. Let's say you wanna share a file. Well, you can save a few steps by dragging it to Drop Zone and using the shortcuts that appear there. So one of my favorite Apple features of all time has to be AirDrop, and I really love using AirDrop in combination with Drop Zone. Now, if you like the idea of saving some time, I'm guessing you're really gonna like the idea of saving some battery life. Endurance is an app that claims it can help your Mac run for 20% longer, and it works very similarly to the low power mode on your iPhone. What it does is once your Mac reaches a certain battery percentage, it starts tweaking apps and settings for optimal battery usage. Now this next app is one that's really simple, but at the same time, it can definitely make you a lot more efficient, and it's called Cheat Sheet. So you iPad Pro users out there, you know how if you hold down the command key on your smart keyboard, it'll bring up a list of all the shortcuts in any given app? Well, this brings that functionality to your Mac. I mean, the truth is there's probably tons of keyboard shortcuts that could save you a lot of time but you probably just don't know that they exist, or maybe you knew once and forgot. Well, with this, that problem completely disappears. So this last app is a little bit different than the rest, but it's one of my favorites, and it's called Padbury Clock. 
It's an ultra minimal clock screensaver with a few cool options to tweak the appearance. It seems like Apple hasn't done anything new or exciting with their screensavers for years. So if you wanna spice things up, make it a little bit different, especially when you're not working at your setup, then this is a really useful and cool looking app. Well, that's it. Hopefully you found this interesting. I thought it'd be a little bit better than just doing a what's on my Mac kind of thing with apps that you probably already know about. So hopefully this was really useful for you guys. So for those of you who stuck around to the end of this video, thank you. I feel like you guys are the true fans that really absorb all the content. And I wanna do some more stuff to thank you guys and reward you for watching all the way through these videos. So I really like what we did in the last video with that secret unannounced giveaway. And I wanna be doing some more of those. So keep your eyes peeled. I'm not just gonna tell you the schedule cause then it's not really secret anymore, but I wanna do more of those. So keep an eye out. And hey, if you're not following me already on social media, um, that's a good way to know about what's going on in this channel. I'm at Daily Tech, spelled daily T-E-K-K, -K, and Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All right, enough talking. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.